Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the XR Club and welcome to today's video. We're going to look at some power query in this video and we're going to look specifically at a question that was asked to me on YouTube from one of my viewers. Ashish Kamir asked me how I can reconcile accounts using two tables that don't have a common column. So the question more specifically says, Hi Paula, good day. Your videos are great and very informative. Thanks very much. Can you suggest a way to do reconciliation of accounts without reference key in Power Query? There is a video you uploaded last year, but in that there are com common columns in both tables. If there's a situation where there is no common columns or reference key, what's the solution for that? Thank you. Now, what this user is referring to is this um, video and article that I wrote last year on how to reconcile accounts using Power Query. And in that example, we looked at a stock table and we had two different records. We had a system count and a stock count or something like that. And they both had a common field. And in the common field, the common field was the stock number or the stock code. And we created a unique table using that stock code. And then we merged the other two tables in to carry out a reconciliation. Now, if you did miss that, I will place a link below the video to both the blog post and the video. And you really should hop over and have a look at that before you move further into this video. So you can pause this video and click on the link below and go and check out the other article and video first. But now that you're back and you have actually watched the other article and video first, we're going to show you how you can solve that problem when you don't have a common field in each table. So I have a simple, two simple tables of data set up just for this exercise. We have a general ledger and we have a purchase ledger. And assuming we wanted to reconcile these in the same manner that we reconciled before. Well, before we would have picked the con common column. So for example, reference could be a common column, but we know in this case, it's not, and I'll explain why in a minute. We could select these two and then we could create a unique column from these and then merge the tables in. But in this case, we've got a duplication of reference with a duplication of values. So if you were to use the reference and then you were to remove duplicates, again, please make sure you watch the other video so you know what I'm talking about. Then you're getting rid of one of these values, which isn't correct. What you really need to do is be able to create a new column and use that new column then to merge the queries together. So I've already loaded these tables into Power Query. So we're going to hop in now and we're going to have a look at how we can create a column that is unique to each transaction and each table. And then, of course, if there's duplicates, we can remove the duplicates. So the first query that we are in here is our PL query. So that's our purchase ledger query. Now, on both queries, we have some common fields. We have reference. We have description. And then we have a debit or a credit value. Now, what we're going to do first is create a new column for values. And values is going to take your debit minus our credit to give you the value or the plus or minus impact it would have on them particular accounts. So let us add a column and we will say custom column. Now, we're in our GL query at the moment. And the custom column that we are going to set up here, we're going to call values. And it is basically going to be, as I said, our debit minus our credit. And we can say, okay, and that is our values. Now, the values is in number or text type. And this is important. Now, we have another one here in number and text type, which I'm going to leave for the moment. But this one here, I am going to change this to text. So I'm going to change the transform, transform the data type to text, even though it's numbers. Now I'm going to add a, another column and I'm going to add a custom column. There is another way of doing this and I'm going to show you in a second. But first we will do it by custom column and I'm going to call this join. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the description first. We're going to concatenate the description with the reference and then we're going to concatenate the reference with the values. Now this is to create a unique 
identifier for each row in this table. You really need to understand your data to know which columns to combine to com that will make a unique column for each row in your table. So I'm going to press OK there. So we can see now our new column, our join column has an error. If we click on this error, we can see what the problem is. So we see, we see here it says we cannot apply operator and, so we can't ampersand or join data types, numbers, and text. So I'm going to go back to our add column and we'll see our add column error in here. And that's what that is. So basically we had changed our values all to text, but we don't only have text in our references and our descriptions. In our descriptions, we have a number. So we can't join numbers and texts. We need everything to be either numbers or to be text. And in this case, we have chosen text. So I'm going to transform that to text. Now, adding a transformation step after I've created the custom column isn't going to help, but I can just drag that up before the custom column. And then we'll see that we have our join column has been created without that error. Now I can duplicate this query or reference this query from here. And I am going to take our join type and I'm going to then remove all other columns. So I can go to columns, remove other columns. Now all I have is the join type in there. So let's go to our PL now. And in our PL, we can do the same steps. So, first of all, we are going to add a column. And the column that we are going to add is going to be our values column. Values. And our values column is going to take a debit and it's going to minus our credit and say OK, and that will give us a value. Now, we need to change this column and we need to change our description because both of them, the data type is text or number and we're going to change it to text. Now we can add a, another column. Now, this time when we're adding a column, I'm not going to add make our join column using a custom column. Instead, we're going to just select the columns and we are going to merge them. Now, when we've done this in our general ledger, we first selected, so what was our, added our custom column, our description, reference, and values. So we need to do them in the same order. So we need to first select description, then select reference, and then finally select values. Now, when you do it this way, it is important that you select the columns in the correct order for them to be merged in the correct order. Then we can select merge columns from the add column. We're not going to have any separator and we're going to name this join because it's the column that we are going to use to join. Now we can see we have a new column here. If we go to our GL and our GL2 and we can append queries and we are going to append the GL2 to the PL and you'll see now we have appended the join query. Now what we can do is select this column, select remove other columns and we have now removed all of the other columns. We can also then remove duplicates. So if there is any duplicates, it shouldn't cause any problems. So we can go to remove rows, remove duplicates. Now we can rename this to be our recon. And then we can go ahead and we can start merging our queries, merging our queries based on the join column. So if we can take in, first of all, let's take in our GL. Let's base it on our join column. What we're going to do is take all rows from both. And then we can say, OK, so this takes in our GL table. Now, what do we want from in here? Well, all we really want is our values. So we can bring in our values and then we can merge another query. And this time we want our PL. Again, we want to select our join columns 
and we are going to take in our full outer well we don't really need to do a full outer but we will do a full outer and we will bring in our values so now we have all of our values and from here in you can really follow the same steps for the reconciliation now that we had in the previous video and in the article because we have created a join column. So that is how you can use Power Query to create a column that, that you can use then to combine two tables together and reconcile accounts. Basically just using Power Query. You can do this in both Excel and you can do it in Power BI. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was something different this week by answering a user's question. So I do hope that you found it of value. If you did, I hope that you will give it the big thumbs up and share it across your social profiles. If you're new to this channel, I hope that you will press the subscribe button and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. My name is Paula from the Exile Club and I will see you again soon. Goodbye now.